Welcome to Business Voice, a program of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce. Each month, we'll feature business and community leaders sharing their stories, initiatives, concerns, and passions. Learn practical information regarding community resources and opportunities. Now, the host of Business Voice, Greece Regional Chamber President and CEO, Sarah Lentini. Hi, everybody. You're listening to Business Voice, a program of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce sponsored by Bartolomeo and Parado Funeral Home. I'm Sarah Lentini, your host and also the president and CEO of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce, and I'm delighted to welcome our first guest today, uh, no stranger to our listening audience, Michael Mateo, general manager of the Village at Unity. Welcome, Mike. Hi, Sarah. How are you today? Doing great. Doing wonderful. So more importantly, how are you and how are things at the Village at Unity? What's going on? Well, I tell you, it's, we're, we're loving the warm weather. Uh, we're, still, we're still mowing the lawn, <laughs> even though usually the lawnmowers are put away by now. But nobody is complaining about 61 degrees and oh, sunny yeah. today on, on the 9th of November. Uh, what's going on with us is we are pushing back to what looks like our new normal. Uh, as we get through the pandemic and into the endemic phase of COVID, uh, we talk about what can we do and what can't we do and what are we going to be going to do. So it's leading to some really great conversation. Uh, we did our summer concert series this summer uh, for the first time nice. since COVID hit. And kind of to be able to hear live music again was oh. transformative. I, I I'm not a dancer, but I danced like crazy <laughs> with my <laughs> residents and, and had such a good time. So we look forward to 2022 with a bigger roster of bands and more dance music and bringing in some local vendors as far as you know, beer trucks and wine vendors and wow. food trucks and stuff to really make this into uh, a community-wide event as we look to do more things with the Unity Hospital and the Unity Campus. That's great. Uh, so and, you kind of you kind of answered my question, I guess. So th- this is open to the community. This isn't just for the residents of the village at Unity. What you're doing? Correct. Yes. We the first time we did it in 2019, we opened it to the community and had a pretty good response. It was our really first time of trying to do the logistics of this kind of balance and lifestyle changes, and let's get some bands out there. And we learned a lot that year. Then. COVID shut us down in 2020. We didn't do anything at all. And in 2021, we said, well, let's bring it back. But it's still a little bit of a questionable area if you want to have the public coming in. And it was, you know, vaccines were reasonably new and some concerns. So we did this for our residents and family members. And coming into 2022, we've just decided, well, let's go and let's get it out there. Let's get the Greece community behind us and the neighbors coming in and, residents and staff from Unity Hospital that really need a break and could just enjoy something to drink and something to eat and some good music to listen to. So that's we're very excited about that. Oh, yeah. But the bigger thing we're doing is we're as we had as a company we had a bit of an epiphany and said, well, you know, wellness is something we've always wanted to address. We should probably build a wellness program. And then we looked at each other and said, we have one. We just <laughs> we didn't really use it to its potential. So we've been on a mission for the last six or eight weeks to really bring forward all the amazing things we do that fit into our Prime Fit Wellness Program that's exclusive at Leisure Care Communities uh, like the Village at Unity and the Village at Mill Landing. And it's so exciting. We rolled this out to staff last week, and they were just, they ran with it. It (laughs) They came up with things that I never even thought of that we do that would fit into a wellness program. And and uh, our next step is to get to residents and family members and really have people come to an understanding of there's so much to do that you can do for yourself that answers the COVID pandemic and endemic questions of what's next. And what's next is getting back to life and getting back to doing what we've been doing all along in a safe manner and in a cautious manner, but in a manner that honors every single human being and the choices that they like. Wow. Um, we, my team came up with 161 oh my different wellness programs that we do in the average month. Oh, <laughs> and no, that doesn't even I seem possible. I wow. dang. Well, wow. because things like, well, things like memberships at the Grease Y mm. fit into wellness. We don't have oh, a yeah. pool. We don't have a plan to build a pool. But we will take people down to Y classes all day long, and that 
fits in. Um, the fact that we have three restaurants and unlimited choices and do farm-to-table cooking mm. fits into a wellness program. Uh, it's more than just the exercise group. It's important, but it's everything else that satisfies a social need mm-hmm. and a need for exercising brains. And I'm so, you can tell I'm so excited about yeah, this. Can I see. Just, yeah. it's, it's really been amazing. That's wonderful. So, yeah, I mean, well, that makes sense. I mean, wellness, you're right. It consists of so many things that, that go, you know, far beyond exercise and moving your body. Not that that's unimportant, but uh, social engagement, absolutely so important for mental health, feeling connected. In fact, I don't know if you're familiar with the blue zones, but, you know, there are these areas of the world where people live to uh, disproportionately high ages. And uh, many of the things that you're mentioning, uh, ca- you know, are, are characteristics of those blue zones. Uh, so uh, f- uh, feeling connected, feeling purposeful, feeling part of the community and uh, and having activities that aren't necessarily stressful, but do get you moving and get you engaged and involved. So, and, and I know your place, it's gorgeous and the three restaurants and I know you have fitness classes. You also, don't you have like a screening room as well? Oh yes. We, we have a full cinema uh, and we're currently looking to rebrand and rebuild some of our common spaces into more specific wellness areas. So in my mind, I, I would love to see, uh, the room where the machines are, where the bikes that don't go anywhere and the treadmills that don't go anywhere, I want that to be more of a destination spot. So using technology so that someone can bike an actual path by looking at a screen uh, is an amazing phenomenon to me because suddenly you're not mm-hmm. riding a bike, you're, you're going down a, a path. These are available at gyms. Right. It's going to be available at our place too. Oh, that's uh, right. A place where, where balance is focused and this is a a a calming tai chi and yoga type Mm. place where people can either self-study or we can use instructors or video instructors to carry people through this kind of thinking we have our own massage therapy studio and we have a therapist that comes in she's from the greece area she comes in a couple of times a week and has a clientele when we built it no one used it (laughs) it was 10 years ago uh but now folks are going you know that sounds like a really great idea and she's busy all the time and these are things that we want to continue to bring forward with our community that really helps our folks live their very best life yep yeah oh that sounds wonderful so i can see why you and the staff are excited and it sounds like you've got a ton that's already online but then it sounds like there's some things you're you're still working to bring online correct oh yeah absolutely um so this this redo of this rooms is one of them and what should go where farm markets were really popular this summer and we're going to continue those again as you get back into the growing season residents went out and bought fresh food Mm. all the time. We do, and this is just kind of a thing that we like to do in our community, but if a a staff member has a dog and Mm. wants to bring them in or a pet and wants to bring them in, we encourage it. And so my dog comes in all the time. And he's nice. part of the team, and he knows what to do. He goes <laughs> over to our our Opal community, which is our memory care community, or our assisted living community, and he meets every single resident. Wow. And they pet him, and he's a 100-pound Akita. Uh, he scratches <laughs> his ears, and he just, he, but he knows he's working today, and he's bringing such joy to everyone that it, bec- and we encourage our staff members to be able to do that, too. Um we have staff-led fitness, and we just did a really cool theme dinner with a mystery company wow. that came in and took over our, our meeting rooms, our suites A and B, and we had 75 residents and family members come in and be walked through this mystery dinner that I thought was fantastic. Yeah. What a fun time. And, again, it, it has to be done in a safe situation, but I'm very proud to tell you that we are 99% vaccinated in our community oh, between residents and staff. That's and probably unheard I, of. Yeah, it's great. I love that, that these folks that live here and work here have made the conscious choice to say, we're going to protect ourselves, our families, and the people that we work with by doing this. Um, and it's just, it thrills me to pieces that they're taking this initiative on, and, and it's, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. And, and it really clears the way to do the kinds of exciting, engaged things that you're talking about, which is, it sounds as though you have just, um, uh, it's like a rebirth, right? It sounds, it sounds like you guys are going through a little renaissance over at the Village at Unity. How exciting. And uh, it sounds as though it's got a, uh, a whole bunch of 
whole bunch of programming that's specific to the residents. And then and then I love the fact that you're also doing these. They sound like big summer parties with music and food, and uh, you're involving uh, not just the not just the folks that live at the village at Unity, but the community, right? Which is just Absolutely. also very very cool. Absolutely. You know, I, we look across our parking lot and we see Unity Hospital, and we know how challenging it is. And we want to be able to support in any way we can. And if that means uh, yours truly is the Santa and goes over and sees people, I'm all about it. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> if we can bring in some food or some beverage or just a something that changes somebody's day and makes it a little bit better today, mm-hmm. that's an amazing thing for us to be able to do. It is Unity Campus is a very cool campus, and it's got so much going on to it that we want to continue to look at our part of the world as campus-wide and do as much with the Unity Hospital folks as we can that, that again, remains in the safe environment that Mm -hmm. we want to do. Mm -hmm. Um, It is is so much fun. It is so so much fun. It sounds wonderful. Before we let you go, a couple things. Um, not everybody knows where the Unity campus is. Not over. Not everybody knows where the Village at Unity is. So, if you could tell folks and tell them how to get in touch with you, the Village at Unity, and is there a place? If there's a website, is there a place where people can go and see activities, both community and resident activities? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So we are we are proudly part of the town of Greece. We are on Long Pond Road, on, next to the Unity Hospital, which is at the corner of of Long Pond Road and Ridgeway. The village at Unity is at the northern part of that campus between two beautiful ponds uh, mm-hmm. that are in the front and in the back. Uh, you can visit us on the web at thevillageatunity.com. Nice. Villageatunity.com. And that's where we can also find uh, listings of activities, Mike? All activities, schedules, calendars, Schedule a tour, look at our menus, our, our virtual tour is posted on there as well, and you get to see uh, from a drone shot and then from live shots throughout the entire part of our community. Oh, it sounds wonderful. I'm excited. I've been there, but it's been too long, and now I want to come back and uh, check out what, you, what you're up to because it sounds very exciting. Thank you so much for being with us today. Mike Mateo, General Manager of the Village at Unity. Um, you're so welcome. <laughs> come for lunch. <laughs> well, yeah, absolutely. you got great restaurants. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much for being here today on Business Voice, Mike. You're welcome, Sarah. Bye-bye. Now. Bye-bye. All right, don't go away. We're going to be right back with my next guest. Don't flip that dial. Every life has a story. Bartolomeo and Prado Funeral Home takes pride in helping families navigate the path to telling their loved one's unique story. It's difficult to avoid sadness at a time of loss, but sharing stories, pictures, and personal items can lead to a path of healing as you remember how special they were. Bartolomeo and Prado certified celebrants help to create a meaningful celebration. If you are in need or want to learn more, contact Bartolomeo and Prado Funeral Home at 720-6000. Need help with health insurance? The Greece Regional Chamber provides assistance with health insurance for businesses, nonprofits, families, and individuals throughout our region. We pride ourselves on the personalized service that we provide for our clients. Let us help you find health insurance plans that fit your needs and navigate the paperwork. Greece Chamber Benefit Partners, located at 2402 Westridge Road in Rochester, New York, offers a broad range of medical insurance plans for businesses, nonprofits, individuals, and families throughout the greater Rochester Finger Lakes region, working with insurance companies including Excellus. Blue Cross Blue Shield, Univera, and MVP Healthcare. We can also help you access insurance plans through the New York State of Health, the official health plan marketplace. Again, you do not need to live or work in Greece to utilize our brokerage services. We serve the greater Rochester Finger Lakes region of New York State. Visit greasechamber.org to sign up for one of our free health insurance information sessions or schedule an appointment with one of our licensed brokers. Call 585-227-7272. 585-227-7272. This is what we're made of. The businesses that line our streets and the customers that make them flourish. As a business owner, this is your community, your members, your regulars, your neighbors. Your business is unique. So are your customers. No matter who you need to reach, Spectrum Reach is here to help you connect with the right message on every screen. Visit SpectrumReach.com to connect with a local advertising expert. That's SpectrumReach.com. 
What does it mean to drive a Honda True Pre-Owned Vehicle by Ralph Honda? It means you'll drive a car that's passed a rigorous 182-point inspection by Honda Certified Technicians, backed by a powertrain warranty to give you peace of mind. Celebrating Honda for 50 years, Ralph Honda. Tell advertisers you heard about them on WYSL. AM 1040 and 92.1 FM and 95.5 West. Welcome back. You're listening to Business Voice, a program of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce, sponsored by Bartolomeo and Prado Funeral Home. I'm Sarah Lentini, your host. I'm also the president and CEO of the Greece Regional Chamber, and I'm delighted to welcome my next guest, who's been on before, J.J. Patrikas of Blink Fitness. Welcome, J.J. Hi, Sarah. Nice to see you. Nice to hear from you. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm excited to be on. Yeah, we are very excited to have you back. So Blink Fitness is this very cool uh, gym, and you've got more than one, and uh, I I know you've been growing, and of course, like everybody else, sort of uh, also, uh, you know, dealing with the the last two years of, uh, uh, you know, a little bit of craziness in uh, in the world life. But uh, tell us what's happening as everything starts to reemerge here. What's going on at Blink? Well, so Blink Fitness, uh, you know, came into the Rochester market uh, January of 2020, which, uh, as you can imagine, is about six weeks before everything sort of shut down. Uh, built a brand new facility over at the Wegmans Ridgemont Plaza over there in Greece. A gorgeous, um, gorgeous you know, facility. Yes, I'm just throwing oh, that thank in. You. Yeah, yeah, it is gorgeous. And we were, you know, looking to expand across upstate New York. So, so Blink is a, a national fitness brand here um, in the high volume, low price. Uh, you know, sector here, our membership's as low as $10 a month, and, uh, okay. you know, we, we have over 100 locations nationwide, and, and we, uh, our franchise group here in, in upstate New York has built uh, built out three, uh, and we are ready to build out some more as well, so we're looking in, we're looking in Buffalo, we're looking to continue our expansion across Rochester, um, you know, and, and you know, everything has been just incredible. We've had incredible feedback from from members who have come come and joined here in Greece, and and you know, really just you know, feel feel phenomenal about the, the market of Rochester and and how we're able to you know engage with the community and um, you know and 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 bring bring just a high quality um, and high value uh, fitness concept to to the to the Greece market and. Yep. and and you've got, and you've got just to just to go back to that, you've got this great facility um, at Ridgemont Plaza in the town of Greece, right here in Monroe County, New York. And um, you've got a wonderful manager uh, who's who's working for you. That you you know you you um, uh, you identified her, and she was in place before you even started. Right? You want to tell us a little bit about her? Yeah, her name is Amaja, and she's a phenomenal um, a phenomenal manager here. We we hired her in Syracuse. Um, she went from working 20 hours a week to, you know, immediately she was uh, a shift supervisor. Then she was the assistant manager. And then when we told her we were going to continue to expand across upstate New York, um, you know, I knew that she was our next club manager. And I was just hoping that she'd be willing to, you know, to, to take on the gig. And she <laughs> she up and relocated from Syracuse to Rochester uh, in, in about 18 days' time and, uh, you know, helped us you know, pre-sale and, 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 you know, bring this concept to a, to a brand new market about 90 minutes away from the nearest blink. And, you know, she's been more than, more than, um, you know, incredible, uh, in terms of her, I guess, the way that she interacts with members and her staff and the community, she's just, uh, you know, you're always going to see a bright smiling face when you oh, walk yeah. into blink and, yeah. and she's, she's the, the face of that, that franchise right there. Yeah. Amaj is great. We love working with her, um, cause she's really engaged with the grease chamber and she absolutely does. She has like a million dollar smile. She never doesn't yeah. wear that smile and it's a it's genuine contagious. smile or it wouldn't be, wouldn't be as powerful as it is. And, uh, right. She's very hardworking, very industrious, and uh, you guys, you did a great job, uh, JJ. You really put the right person in place, and she fits beautifully with your team. So for starters, great staff, um, great facility. You mentioned already um, memberships as low as, what was that? $10 a month. That's, I mean, that's, you know, phenomenally inexpensive. Um, and then the gym is outfitted with, I mean, it's got all kinds of beautiful new equipment, and you've got television monitors, right? I mean, tell us, describe it a little bit for folks. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so it's a it's sort of a beautiful, you know, bright and 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 vibrant, colorful gym um, okay. with with um, you know uh, we were, you're talking cardio. We have over 80 pieces of cardio equipment. They all actually have uh, HD screens on them that connect to Netflix, Hulu, live TV. Um, right, right there while you're working out. Nice. Um, we ha- we also have a, a great strength section. So um, we have a ton, you know tons of free weights um, and just 
selectorized uh, you know equipment. We also have a stretch area, just an area that's dedicated to sort of more functional movement and stretching. The floor is a little softer than the rest of the gym. It's a nice, vibrant blue floor. Um, but again, we also have a really well, like an everyone cleans philosophy. So our gym is is always spotless. I, I walk in there um, on a site visit, and I get compliments from members all the time about how. You know, they compliment Amaja, they compliment our staff, they compliment how clean it is. Um, and just sort of like if you go go back and forth to the, the reviews that we've gotten since we've been in the market, you, you'll see clean and friendly or at least one of those words in every single one of them. That's, that's been our, our vibe and our mantra. You know, we, I walk in and it, and it feels like grand opening every, every time <laughs> I come and visit. So. Right. And having said that, you've got all the, all the basics already. But you've got other things, too, that you offer. Like, don't you have, um, if people want, don't you have personal trainers? And don't you have, like, yeah. a, a really cool new app and stuff? Absolutely. Well, thanks for queuing that up. We have <laughs> we have phenomenal uh, nationally certified personal trainers. Uh, so everyone who signs up for a membership at Blink gets a uh, free uh, one-on-one session with a personal trainer wow. sort of to go through their fitness and wellness goals. And then uh, if, additionally, if you want to hire a personal trainer for 30 or 60 minute sessions throughout the week, you have the ability to do so. Um, there's some excellent, um, we call them our workout menus on the wall. It's, there's uh, nine different cards that have, you know, like a 10 exercise circuit on there that you can follow. So if you don't really know where to start, uh, they'll, there, there are workout menus are there and, you know, they're designed by Blink trainers to sort of give you some different, um, different hit workouts based on what your fitness and wellness goals are. And then the app, our, our Blink app, I think is best in class here. It's, it's got over 500 workouts. Um, wow. Actually, now oh, we have over over a thousand uh, workouts and over five hundred healthy recipes and and meditations and mindfulness. It's, it, we've partnered with some of the best um, some of the best content providers in the business to to allow our members to to not only engage with Blink while they're at the gym, but also to have some great content to engage with at at home. Be it you know their rest and recovery. It's um, you know and, and nutrition and hydration and really ev- everything that goes into sort of uh, you know your overall wellness, and mm-hmm. I think I think one of our biggest concepts here, um, you know, is, is that really exercise is, isn't just about looking good; it's about how it makes you feel. So, uh, we're, you know, this 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 is this is feel good fitness. This is feel good, um, you know, overall health and wellness to be able to to interact with all of that stuff. Um, you know, when you're in the gym and when you're not in the gym as well. Yep. Yeah, wellness is such a big word, and there are so many components, uh, so many aspects of life that contribute to wellness, and it's wonderful to see you, you know, you're, you guys think big, and, uh, and uh, you, know, you've, you're, you're, uh, you know, you're developing uh, ways for people to engage with you and your team and the gym, both, uh, you know, remotely as well, live, as well as live that, um, you know, that are uh, exciting and creative and relevant. I mean, uh, uh, the nutrition pieces sound wonderful and the app sounds wonderful. And, uh, you know, we were just having a conversation with Mike Mateo from the Village at Unity and they're looking at wellness as well. I think this is very much a good moment for all of us, you know, to be focused on uh, ways to make ourselves well and uh, wellness and joy really go hand in glove and goodness life is too short not to be thinking about those two things so um, and tell us too now you you know obviously you know uh, Jane and, and Joe a uh, layperson can come in and sign up for a membership but is there such a thing as a corporate membership? Yeah, absolutely. We, we got a chance to, to share that with some other members of the Greece Chamber the other day. We have a, a corporate membership uh, options for employee wellness. And my, my favorite part about that is that it's at no commitment to the company. Um, so if you're interested in, in getting your employees um, on an employee wellness program, all you have to do is reach out to Greece at BlinkFitness.com, shoot us an email. Uh, someone will get back to you and give you some details about that. But we, we have our membership pricing as low as $10 a month, and then we have our premium membership, which is our blue membership, which allows you to bring guests with you. It gives you unlimited access to the app uh, and access to multiple locations. Um, so we were able to, to offer that 
um, to the to the community and and to um, you know businesses that we've partnered with here, so that their employees have access to a discounted membership where they can bring guests and have access to the app. So, right. um, you know, anybody who's interested, Grease at BlinkFitness dot com is probably the best way to get in touch with us, and we would love to you know show you around the gym and, and answer some questions for you about how you can get your employees involved in some of these you know wellness perks. And then I think one of the things that I wanted to mention too is some some companies already have. Um, you know, they, they reimburse their employees for, mm-hmm. a, for a gym membership. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we were able to give them this discount uh, at a paid in full price, give them a receipt so that they can be reimbursed right away. Um, and, and then there's other companies that, that offer, um, you know, health, their health insurance plans mm-hmm. are offering um, like a, an active and fit or a yep. silver and fit or, yep. um, Reward you know, uh, activity, uh, mm-hmm. activity health insurance through Blue Cross Blue Shield or other providers that, um, you know, we offer all of those health care memberships at our gym in Greece, and, and that's zero dollars um, uh, uh, for, the, for the employee if they have access to that through their health insurance provider. So that's really simple to sign up. Uh, and it's 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 absolutely free on your behalf if you have that as part of your uh, health care plans. So if you mm-hmm. have one of those, um, you know, health care health insurance cards that 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 offers activity or or yep. prime or fitness yeah. your way, some of those other membership options. Yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah they know who they are if they have it. Right. Yeah, I think more than one more than one health insurance company is offering that kind of incentive now uh, because it is it's such an important part of preventive care, encouraging preventive care, which is top of mind for everybody. And what a great employee benefit, right? What a great idea. What a great uh, uh, kind of a great concept and such an easy way to support employees. Um, and again, very, very timely given what uh, what is all around us. So um, uh, just one last time, I know you gave us an email address, but if people want just to get general information about Blink Fitness, might be interested in joining, seeing what different sorts of uh, packages you offer, uh, what is the best way? Web address? Web? Yeah, I would just go to BlinkFitness.com uh, and go ahead and uh, you can type in your, your zip code or you can search you know by location. You'll find the Grease location on there and you can check out our membership pricing. And then anybody if anybody has any questions, they could stop in at the Ridgemont Plaza there or, or just shoot us an email at grease at blinkfitness.com. Uh, we're very responsive uh, to, to that and would love to invite you in for a tour or can answer any questions that you have. Um, but 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 honestly, I, I think you got to see it for yourself. So or you agree? Like you you walk in the the door, you you, you have to see how gorgeous this place yep. is. It's 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 worth a trip if you're you're if you're interested in really impacting your um, your overall health and wellness and really getting giving a giving a giving it a shot. Yep, and your mood. I mean, it's just absolutely a okay. mood lifter, a mood booster. Uh, and it's beautifully done. It's not just that the equipment is new and gorgeous. Um, and of course, you. I, I love that you. You know, you've got all those beautiful uh, television monitors, and that you. You know, you can watch Netflix and Hulu. Uh, so it's not just basic, not just basic cable on there, right? Um, but yeah. you've got all kinds of really nice sayings on the wall, and pretty much everything about the gym has been done with great care, great taste, but also great care. Uh, so it's obvious that you guys are. Uh, you know, really committed to your customer and committed to um, your brand, which is also, you know, very strong and very, uh, uh, very appealing. So I, um, I'm delighted that you've come on and, uh, and that you guys are, uh, you know, uh, uh, offering all sorts of exciting programming. And it's Blink fitness.com right jj blink you got it b-l-i-n-k in the blink of an eye blink fitness.com jj patrikas blink fitness thank you so much for joining us here today on business voice thanks for having me sarah appreciate it absolutely all right don't go away we're going to be right back with my next guest don't flip that dial Listening to the Voice of Liberty. AM 1040 Avon Rochester, FM 921 W221 CL Rochester, FM 955 W238 DE Spencerport. Do you ever question how much value you get for the money you spend? Funerals can be expensive, and you should feel confident getting what you paid for. Bartolomeo and Prado Funeral Home promises to deliver. From expert guidance to a warm, inviting facility to handling all the details during a difficult time. Their priority is to create a meaningful tribute for your loved one and for you to feel that you spent wisely. When you're in need, call Bartolomeo and Prado Funeral Home, 720-6000. 
Since 1983, Herco Computers is Rochester's first and most experienced custom computer system builder. Herco Computers is proud to be working with many of our original customers, including the Greece Chamber of Commerce. Whether you need a custom business PC, gaming system, or network server, Herco Computers can build you a custom computer system that exceeds your expectations. Herco Computers also offers complete IT support for your business. We can configure your business network, provide security from viruses and ransomware to keep your business or medical office running the way it should be. Herco Computers is also a full-service provider of network wiring, Wi-Fi, and network camera systems. Need to upgrade from Windows 7? Give Herco Computers a call at 227-1270 to discuss your options to get your business upgraded to Windows 10. Herco Computers is proudly locally owned and operated since 1983. Call us at 227-1270 and schedule your Herco Computers free IT evaluation. Herco Computers, 227-1270. Need help with health insurance? The Greece Regional Chamber provides assistance with health insurance for businesses, nonprofits, families, and individuals throughout our region. We pride ourselves on the personalized service that we provide for our clients. Let us help you find health insurance plans that fit your needs and navigate the paperwork. Greece Chamber Benefit Partners, located at 2402 Westridge Road in Rochester, New York, offers a broad range of medical insurance plans for businesses, nonprofits, individuals, and families throughout the greater Rochester Finger Lakes region, working with insurance companies including Excel. Blue Cross Blue Shield, Univera, and MVP Healthcare. We can also help you access insurance plans through the New York State of Health, the official health plan marketplace. Again, you do not need to live or work in Greece to utilize our brokerage services. We serve the greater Rochester Finger Lakes region of New York State. Visit greasechamber.org to sign up for one of our free health insurance information sessions or schedule an appointment with one of our licensed brokers. Call 585-227-7272. 585-227-7272. Buying a car has never been easier at Ralph Honda. With our online shopper, find the car that's right for you, right from your home. Value your trade, personalize a payment that fits your budget, chat with a team member, and schedule your pickup. It's that simple. Celebrating Honda for 50 years, Ralph Honda. Safeguarding your freedoms and your future. The WYSL Stations. Welcome back. You're listening to Business Voice, a program of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce, sponsored by Bartolomeo and Prado Funeral Home. I'm Sarah Lentini, your host and also the president and CEO of the Greece Regional Chamber, and I'm delighted to welcome our next guest, Dr. Kathleen Wania of Greece Pediatric Medicine. Welcome, Dr. Wania. Thank you. Thank you for having me today. Oh, absolutely. So uh, folks um, may or may not know that uh, Greece Pediatric Medicine is a new business, right, in the town of Greece. Uh, How long has it been open and, uh, uh, you know, uh, what made you start it? Tell us a little bit about Greece Pediatric Medicine. All right, great. Uh, So we opened in July of of this year. Um, We are located right um, on Latta and Long Pond Road. Um, across from the Ladder Road Wegmans mm-hmm. and the plaza with Abbott's, um, the drive through Abbott's, a nice convenient location. Very. Um, and yes, and I uh, have been working in the Greece uh, community for the last nine years, and I decided to um, kind of branch out on my own and start my own practice after I noticed that I was growing. Uh, weary with the way that we were practicing medicine um, in our community and felt that there could be a better way that we could practice medicine for our patients and our families. Well, that's great. So um, you're a, and just to to be clear, you're a pediatrician, correct? Yes. Yeah. And, um, uh, and so this, but this is the, you've worked as a pediatrician now for, you said the better part of a decade, but you're, um, this is your first uh, venture where you're, you're running the show soup to nuts, Correct. Yes. Yeah, yep. So yeah. This, uh, I've been working uh, in a more of a group setting uh, mm-hmm. with with other members of the community, and now this uh, venture, I'm the sole owner of this um, practice and currently the sole practitioner in this practice. That's great. Um, that's great. It takes a lot of courage to start any business. I would think this in particular is, um, you know, is a, is a great venture, very meaningful, and, and uh, you know, uh, is also very brave of you. Um, now, tell us what it is that you're, how it is that you want to practice medicine that, that you're, um, you know, your, uh, that this practice will enable you to do. Uh, you mentioned that you, you really, you really have some strong feelings about, um, you know, the best ways to practice yeah, so um, it's hard to sometimes put it into words in a in a short um, period of time, but 
I noticed that we seemed like we had grown away from um, thinking about our patients and our families first Mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. as the center of how we practice medicine. And uh, I felt there was a lot of, uh, uh, let's see, roadblocks and Mm -hmm. um, things getting in the way of just us getting to our patients and us focusing on just our patients. So I thought, what if we got rid of all those things that (laughs) keep us from being able to just get to our patients and keep that keep our patients from just getting access to us yep. and uh, what if we could make things a little bit more uh, simple, easy, more accessible for our patients. So we I just tried to rethink how we do things um, and use what we have. So we have a lot of technology now that, that we could be using that mm-hmm. maybe we're just uh, not utilizing to our benefit. Mm-hmm. Um, so we tried to utilize that to make it easier for us and easier for our patients just to reach us. Um, so we, you know, we, our office runs very efficiently, um, and so that we have the time to just pick up the phone when our patients call us, um, they can talk to me, hmm. you know, when they need me, they can reach me at after hours when they need me, um, when they wow. need an appointment, there's multiple ways for them to, to get an appointment. They can call, they can get on their portal and schedule it themselves. They can text us for an appointment. So there's multiple ways for them to get what they need without having to go through, you know, hoops to just do something as easy as make an appointment or talk to their doctor. That's great. I mean, um, that is actually a very, um, very much becoming unheard of, right? Um, not just in this profession, not just in the in the healthcare field, but uh, but it's especially important in the healthcare arena that you be able to talk to a live human being uh, in a yeah. timely manner and, of course, being able to talk to the you know, the primary provider, the, the, the physician that whose care you're under is, uh, you know, really, really important. And it's becoming a very difficult thing to do. Access is not easy. Um, so I really applaud you for what you're doing. And uh, focusing on the patient first is also, um, you know, unfortunately, not, not, uh, not necessarily the way the entire system works. So, um, you know, the other thing that, uh, that I know, um, at least I've heard other folks talk about is that, um, it can be challenging inside of a bigger system to spend as much time with patients as one might like or one might even feel is, is actually necessary. Um, I don't know if that's, you know, part of your model. Are you also sort of committed to spending the amount of time that, that is really needed for a, a given patient? Yeah, I mean, we don't um, – that doesn't seem to be something we worry about. That's great. I think on a day-to-day basis, so – um, we have appointments available every day. You know, we just had someone walk in just now, uh, a new patient that wanted to schedule an appointment for concern, and she was surprised to know we have an appointment available tomorrow if she wants it. Wow. Um, so we don't, again, the way that it's set up, we plan ahead to, mm-hmm. you know, to, to see, you know, how many visits do we have and what do we expect is going to happen in the next, you know, few weeks. Um, and so we we haven't run into a problem where we don't think we'll have enough time for each patient. And That's if a great. patient takes longer than we expect, um, our pa- our patients and families know us well enough that if they wait one day, they know that there's a, probably a good reason because most days they don't wait. Wow. Um, and so they're very understanding. So we never feel the pressure that we can't spend time with someone when they need it. Um, and on times when they don't need it, then we're running on time that day. And um, patients you know, know that we'll be efficient. They'll come in get seen during the time slot that they scheduled and, you know, be on their way wow. in a very short time. So I think it works well that um, when patients get to know you, they know how mm-hmm. you run. Mm-hmm. And if something seems off that day, the parents usually are very understanding mm-hmm. that something mm-hmm. must have happened and someone must have needed extra time today. And then wow. they know when it's their turn, they'll get the extra time <laughs> they need. That's great. Yeah, I imagine you have, um, it sounds like you already have actually a pretty um, thriving practice with, you know, loyal loyal patients and families. Um, so it doesn't sound like you're starting, you know, from scratch by any stretch. Um, in fact, I had that impression. We had a wonderful ribbon cutting um, for you guys not that long ago. And, uh, you know, I was struck by the, you know, the size of the, you know, the, 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 the group that came together to celebrate your, your grand opening. And it was clear you already have a wonderful patient base, not to mention that your, you know, your entire team seems terrific. Um, and you were mentioning to me, and by the way, the office is gorgeous, um, new, oh, beautiful, lovely, beautiful beautifully appointed. Um, you were mentioning to me, I think I'm remembering this correctly, that, uh, and, and this mes- might go back to the efficiencies that you were talking about, that you do some, is it that you do some testing right on site? Yes. Uh, so, yep, we have um, a, a lab 
right in our office, so we can do. We have a PCR machine, so we can do the um, COVID test that you know everyone right now in this worrisome time would like to know about mm-hmm. as soon as possible. So those tests we can get back uh, within the hour and have results wow. for our patients. We also can do um, same day strep PCR tests, flu tests, RSV tests, and then we have our um, lab that we do. Um, kind of routine testing at some of our regular preventative health care visits for cholesterol, uh, lead, and hemoglobin screening. So those are just some of the things that we do just as a routine screening at our preventative care visits. That's great. Um, I mean, that just that sounds so smart. And uh, it, it's simple, and yet it isn't something that you find anymore. You know, it takes me back to the old days. I remember when I, you know, many, many moons ago going to the doctor and You know, having him take a sample of something, look at it under a microscope and hand me the medicine so that I could, you know, walk out of there taken care of for for practically no money, by the way, which, you know, maybe maybe wouldn't be fair. But uh, at the end of the day, um, I uh, this sounds like a little bit of a little bit of that old fashioned customer service that, um, you know, that I'm 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 longing for. And I bet others are as well. So um, congratulations once again. You know, um, there aren't that many independent practitioners in our community anymore. So uh, we're very, very happy that you're, you've set up shop and, of course, that you've set up shop uh, you know, in, in the town of Greece in Monroe County. Uh, kudos to you. And, and uh, as a Greece Chamber member, we especially, we want, we want to see you be successful. So just before I let you go, just um, what, what made you want to be a doctor? I know that's not a quick question, but what, did you always know that you wanted to be a pediatrician? Oh, I know that's a great question. I always knew that I wanted to help people. Um, so that was something I had uh, very early on, and then um, I just found out over time that working with children um, gave me a lot of energy. Uh, just if you've ever you know worked with a child and see the kind of energy that they carry and how resilient they are, um, I just knew that I wanted to continue to work with children um, nice. because I enjoyed it so much. So that's kind of how I came about. Uh, yeah. deciding that I would work in pediatrics. Very nice, um, yeah. Kids are yeah. wonderful. Um, so I- are you accepting new patients, and if people want to get in touch with you and, and be considered to be added to your patient list, how would they do that? Is there a website, a phone number? What's the best way? Yeah, so so we are accepting new patients. Uh, there's, again, multiple ways that you can become a new patient. You can go to our website, um, greasepeds.com, and there is a page with a new patient registration form that you can fill out and email it to us or drop it off. You can call us at 504-6504 and we can get you those forms or you can just walk in. We just had someone walk in and drop off some papers or you can walk in and we'll just hand you the papers and you can fill them out that way. Wonderful. So that's 3208 Ladder Road um, in Rochester in the town of Greece in terms of um, an address. And then the phone number again is 504-504-6504. And then the website is Grease Peds, P-E-D-S, greasepeds.com. Dr. Kathleen Wania, Grease Pediatric Medicine, thank you so much for being with us here today on Business Voice. Yes, thank you so much for having me. You're very, very welcome. All right, don't go away. We've got one more guest. Don't flip that dial. Families who choose cremation may worry about security. Are the ashes in the urn, in fact, their loved ones? Bartola Mayo and Prado Funeral Home is Monroe County's exclusive provider of cremation with confidence. Their 10-step cremation process guarantees that the cremated remains returned to you are those of your loved one. To learn more about cremation with confidence, call Bartola Mayo and Prado Funeral Home, 720-6000. When you're in the mood for delicious Mexican food, you'll find it at Los Galos Mexican Grill. Their huge menu will delight everyone in the family. Wonderful Mexican food served in a colorful Mexican cantina in Greece at 2700 West Ridge Road at North Glen Drive. Locally owned Los Galos Mexican Grill serves lunch and dinner daily. And of course, you can dine in, take out, or use Grubhub. View their menu at LosGalosMexicanGrill.com and then head for Los Galos for the great taste of Mexico. Care. It's more than a word. 
It's the heart of our mission and purpose for more than 25 years. Today, we serve 2.3 million members, partnering with top quality providers and caring for communities across New York State. This is Fidelis Care. If you need health insurance or if your coverage is changing, Fidelis Care can help. Call 1 888 Fidelis, TTY 711, or visit FidelisCare.org. If you're looking to market and grow your business, make new business connections, and give back to the community in a meaningful way, consider joining the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce. We're the largest suburban chamber in Monroe County, and we offer networking, education, marketing, insurance, and advocacy. You do not need to live or work in Greece to join. Our members come from throughout the region. In short, we're better together, and together, we're moving business forward. Visit greasechamber.org or call 585-227-7272 to join today. What does it mean to drive a Honda True pre-owned vehicle by Ralph Honda? It means you'll drive a car that's passed a rigorous 182-point inspection by Honda certified technicians, backed by a powertrain warranty to give you peace of mind. Celebrating Honda for 50 years, Ralph Honda. The one media outlet you can count on. The voice of liberty. The WYSL stations. Welcome back. You're listening to Business Voice, a program of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce, sponsored by Bartolomeo and Parado Funeral Home. I'm Sarah Lentini, your guest, uh, and also the president and CEO of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce. I'm delighted to welcome our next guest, Stephanie Ray of Accountability Evangelist. What a great name. Welcome, Stephanie. Thank you, Sarah. So that name begs the question, first of all, Accountability Evangelist, what the heck is that? Tell us about your business, Stephanie. Sure. Well, the business itself is about coaching for individuals and consulting for organizations, but the tie into accountability is that it matters on both sides. Mm -hmm. Personal accountability when it comes to achieving your most ambitious goals is absolutely critical. And on the organizational side, accountability is everywhere. And specifically what I specialize in is succession planning for organizational Mm -hmm. development. Something that probably not enough businesses do, right? For sure. Mm-hmm. And you do that for both businesses and nonprofits because, you know, same issue there, right? Yeah. Um, most of the time I work with nonprofits because they tend to be the organizations that don't already have a succession plan. Mm-hmm. But the process that I teach is applicable to organizations of any type or size. That's great. And so you're typically in a consultant role, correct? Engaged as a contract consultant? Yes. Okay. And um, you work with all different kinds of businesses, small, large? It sounds like predominantly nonprofits, but otherwise uh, the size, does that matter? No, it it doesn't matter. One of the reasons that I work with nonprofits the most is because that's kind of where I came from most recently. Mm -hmm. And so I have applicable experience that resonates with the nonprofit client. Mm -hmm. So talk to us a little bit since you've, you've, um, you've put a special focus on succession planning. Tell us a little bit for folks that might not know, what is a succession plan? Why is it so important? Yeah, the reason it's so important is because I believe the greatest risk to an organization is ineffective leadership. And the principal form of ineffective leadership is no leadership, which is what's going to happen if you don't have a succession plan, which really just means that you've thoughtfully planned in advance to replace your leaders as they leave, as they retire, as they take other jobs, et cetera. And so the process is actually pretty straightforward, but it does have two critical components to it. The first is making the plan, and what that means is for each key position, you're listing what you need, you know, the type of person that you need, and also um, who might be ready within the organization within a period of, of, of zero to five years. And then the second step, which is very important, if you only do the first step without the second step, nothing will happen, is to develop your successors. And mm. so there's an individual development planning process that is tied to it. Mm. I imagine that there's an emotional component to going through this process. Yes. There is, and that's so my role as a consultant, honestly, I give away my process for free. You can get it on my website. Anybody can implement it, but where I add the value is in walking the leadership through this process and making sure that they take advantage of communicating it in the best way because otherwise you're solving one problem and causing another. And what I'm referring to is being very transparent about the process of succession planning to the entire organization even if some of those employees won't find themselves on a succession plan quite yet. A lot of organizations are very hush-hush about it because they're afraid of what will happen when when the information gets out. The information that should get out is the process. 
the information that shouldn't get out is who is on which succession plan. Oh, I bet you that would help a lot of people feel more comfortable about moving forward with with thinking and talking about this. Um, because I, yeah, I think if um, you know if if it if it involves actually naming a successor, you could end up opening quite the can of worms inside the company, right? In fact, it's a lot like that show called Succession, right? The uh, the, the show about the family, isn't that what it's called? On that? Yeah, so it, in my my process is, is intended not to be corrupt, and, and for that very reason. <laughs> but yes, you're right. If you in in some organizations, it makes sense to name a successor and to publicize it, mm-hmm. it because it's it's kind of obvious that you're grooming the person and they're the right mm-hmm, person for mm-hmm, the job. Mm-hmm. But we're talking about all the executive leadership positions, not mm-hmm. just the, the top position, really should have a succession plan. And typically, that means that there's more than one person that may be ready at some point. Again, mm-hmm. the horizon that I suggest is zero to five years. Anything beyond five years, there's really no point in planning for yet because so much can change in oh, that yeah. time. Yeah, that makes sense. Five years is a very long period of time. You're right in terms of events, activities, possible change. So what got you into this um, business and, and focused in particular on succession planning? Did, did it just sort of happen organically or where, where, um, what was your path? Yeah, I think that's a good way to put it. I would say it was a fairly organic. When I was in the nonprofit world, I actually came from the corporate world. And when I shifted over to nonprofit, I really took a deep interest in leadership development there and I created some emerging leaders programs, ascending leaders programs, and really then kind of bolted it onto the succession planning process and realizing how great it was to have those programs as a key internal vehicle to develop those successors. So that's kind of how it started. You know, a lot of my, my career has been spent in leadership development, but as I took more of a focus on the strategic side of the business, I realized that succession planning is just so critical to the organization. Again, without it, you're, you're not going to be sustainable. And so I started to build a deeper expertise in that process facilitation as well. Mm-hmm. So you've, you've really developed yourself as well. You talked about developing the talent inside the company as part of succession planning, but in some ways your path follows and, you know, you have sort of a similar arc. How did you go about developing your own skills um, and, your, and your own talents? Yeah, so you're right about that. I definitely have a passion for self-development, which helps me have a passion for developing other people. In fact, the thing I find the most rewarding as a leader is developing other people, and I believe those people are not going to believe me to have much credibility if I'm not focused also on developing myself. Mm -hmm. And so the way I do that is really just I'm I'm a student at heart, so Mm -hmm. I research, I read, I study, I talk to people, I really immerse myself in the subject to know as much as I can about it in order to become, you know, valuable in that way. Mm. Were there any particular people or um, pieces of literature, books that you read that had a, you know, kind of a transformational kind of an impact on you or an important impact on you as you were going through this? You know, I would say probably several. I mean, I have a huge bookcase of, of leadership books that I have really loved. And what's that, what that enabled me to do is kind of take the best of all of them. And when I say the best of all of them, I mean whatever resonated with me. I mean, there's mm-hmm. tons of great concepts out there. So I borrowed concepts from many, many people. The most recent person that I found really helpful to kind of take my game to the next level is Alan Weiss. He is kind of the consultant for a consultant. Mm-hmm. And he teaches a lot about succession planning and leadership development because typically consultants that come into an organization – need to know how to do that because, again, it's so critical to the organization's growth. Mm-hmm. And is, you know, you talked a little bit about personal development and professional development. Do you see those two as parallel tracks? Do you see them as intersecting tracks? Um, you know, just uh, thinking about myself, and I, I have a hard time separating, you know, one, one aspect of my development from another. Is, is, that, is that a mistake? I don't think so. I, I'm, honestly, I'm not sure how you can separate them. If you're an authentic leader, that means that you're always you, no matter what. And you may be able to adapt to the situation, but if you're not developing yourself personally, then you're not going to be able to develop yourself professionally because you're the same person. So I definitely believe it's, it's the same thing. Mm-hmm. What I like to do is kind of alternate when I'm reading books. I'm not always reading business books. There's sometimes mm-hmm. business books. There's sometimes more personal development and I do find if I had to pick, if you said to me, 
Okay, you have to pick. You can't stay on the fence. I would, I would err on the side of personal development mm-hmm. because that is making the bigger impact. You can learn any, any craft mm-hmm. that you want, but if you're not focused on developing yourself, you're not going to be great at it. Mm. I agree. Um, not to be uh, biased, but um, but I agree. I think um, I think personal development is critical and underrated. And 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 honestly, I kick myself because for all that I'm saying that I probably spend uh, very little time on it. I think probably most of us spend very little time on it, which is really what you're you're kind of saying too to us. I think right, which is you need to you need to spend a little bit more time on personal and professional development in order to. Um, to reach the goals that you you claim are so important to you, right? Uh, yes, I, and the thing is, if you're not if you don't find it interesting, you're not going to make time for it. Mm-hmm. And so, what's worked for me because I also still struggle to find time for it is I remind myself how fun it is. It's actually mm-hmm. fun to learn something new and fun to discover the next thing that you can do well. I find it fascinating. So that's what draws me back to carving out time to read. Mm-hmm. Is that right there? I mean, I would never advocate for someone to read something super boring to them or just that they can't get passionate about, it's just, it's just not worth it. It's a, usually a very big waste of time. But if you start to find, because there's so many authors out there, there's so many resources out there, there's so many podcasts out there, if you sample enough of them, you're going to find somebody that resonates with you that you really enjoy. That's what you're going to make time for. That makes, that makes so much sense. Uh, so if people are listening and they want to get in touch with you and learn more, Stephanie, how can they do that? Yes, sure. Uh, the best place to go is my website, accountabilityevangelist.com, and you can reach me via email at stephanie at accountabilityevangelist.com. Beautiful. Stephanie Ray, Accountability Evangelist, thank you so very much for being with us here today on Business Voice. Thanks, Sarah. All right, that just about wraps it up for us here today on Business Voice, a program of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce sponsored by Bartolomeo and Parado Funeral Home. Um, if you don't know already, I'm Sarah Lentini, your host, also the president and CEO of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce. I want to thank my guests for today, wonderful guests, Mike Mateo from the Village at Unity, J.J. Patrikas from Blink Fitness, uh, Dr. Kathleen Wania from Greece Pediatric Medicine, and, of course, Stephanie Ray from Accountability Evangelist. Um, I also want to encourage you guys to check us out on the web at greasechamber.org. That's greasechamber.org. We have lots of events going on. We have a mix of live and virtual events right now. Lots of great fun, lots of new businesses coming online to help us celebrate. And, of course, it is also open enrollment, and uh, we offer medical, dental, and vision uh, insurance uh, to folks not just in the town of Greece but in the region. Region and uh, would be very, very happy to help you out if you're looking for assistance. So visit us again on the web, greasechamber.org, or call us on the phone at 585-227-7272. That's 585-227-7272. Thank you all so much for joining us on this edition of Business Voice. Until next time, be well. You've been listening to Business Voice. The Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce serves businesses, nonprofits, and individuals throughout the region, focusing on promoting economic and community development and serving as the voice for business. The Chamber offers networking, education, advocacy, community events, and business services. It serves as an important platform for business leaders and citizens to come together in support of common goals. 